Weather and Forecast Center, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. The high temperature today was 27 degrees. The normal high temperature is also 27 degrees, and we're going to be at or above that for the majority of the next week. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. Highs tomorrow will be in the upper 20s to lower 30s, mid to upper 30s for Sunday and Monday, maybe even a few 40s. Sunday afternoon. We'll dip down a little bit on Tuesday and then we'll warm up again as we move towards Valentine's Day. Right now we are looking at quickly falling temperatures here in Northeast Wisconsin, already down to 11 degrees in Sheboygan. We've got 16 in Watoma and it's 18 degrees in Sturgeon Bay. The time lapse from this afternoon shows lots and lots of sunshine, blue sky. That sunshine really helping to do the trick on area roads today, along with the salt. Probably the best looking uh, road conditions I've seen in about a week and a half. Here's a look at the two day snowfall total for us here in Northeast Wisconsin. Most of us ended up with about four to seven inches, although there were locally higher amounts south and east of the Fox Valley. We had around eight inches in two rivers and just under 10 inches of snow in Valder. So far this winter, we have picked up 45 inches of snow. That's above normal and about 30 inches ahead of where we were last year at this time. From here on out, we still typically see about another 17 inches of snow. Our normal winter snowfall is about 54 inches, so if we stay on track, we're looking at a final seasonal snowfall total right around 60 to 65 inches. Obviously, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. The satellite picture this evening shows clear skies across Wisconsin, high pressure and control. We've got a little system that is now moving in from the west. That'll continue to make its way towards Wisconsin tonight pass through the area tomorrow. All it's going to do is produce occasional high clouds mixing with the sunshine, although the clouds will gradually start to win out as we head into tomorrow afternoon and evening as our next big weather maker moves in from the south and west. It's a Colorado low and these systems typically pack a punch. This system is going to pack a punch, but it's moving to our west, which means we're going to be on the warm side of things. We'll see a wintry mix on Sunday quickly go over to just plain old rain. You can really see where the track of this storm is going to be. North and west of it, we have winter storm watches and blizzard watches from Minnesota back into Nebraska. There's going to be a lot of snow. A blizzard will be raging tomorrow night into uh, Sunday out across western Minnesota, South Dakota, and Nebraska, where over a foot of snow is likely. Your forecast for tonight calls for a mixture of stars and high clouds. Overnight lows will be in the single digits. Some spots will drop below zero. Tomorrow, Generally increasing cloudiness throughout the day. High temperatures will be in the upper 20s to lower 30s with southwest winds at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. On Sunday, here comes that big system. A good chance for rain. The rain could start out as a little bit of freezing rain, sleet or snow. That will not last long, however, with temperatures soaring into the upper 30s. Some spots could hit 40. On Monday, a light wintry mix is possible early going over to some snow. Maybe some minor accumulations if everything works out just right. High temperatures will still be above freezing mid 30s. Mid 20s on Tuesday, that's a little bit below normal. Then we'll warm up again. Sunshine with a few clouds on Wednesday for Valentine's Day. Well, it looks like our next weather maker is going to be pushing in. A good chance for some light snow as we move into the afternoon and then maybe some heavier snow once again. Thursday night into Friday, that system obviously still a week away. We've got plenty of time to watch it, uh, but that one does bear watching <laughs> as we get closer and closer. Obviously, nothing compared to what they're going to see in New England tonight oh and goodness. tomorrow. Yeah, the computer models are still showing the potential of over 40 inches of snow mm. west of Boston. Hurricane force winds, maybe some thunder and lightning. What a storm that's going to be. Yeah, we'll have more on that coming up tonight at 10. Sounds good. All right, still ahead on NBC26 Live at 6. Curling teams from around the country.